All right, back again. Now, time for the throttle cable inspection. Really, 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 really important. Seriously, really important. So now, sometimes you'll have throttle, you twist it, it won't go back right away. You know, you got a problem right there. So now, you'll have adjustment right here, right? I'm going to tighten it just to show you what's going on. I'm going to tighten this thing all the way. Just, just for demonstration purposes. Check this out. See that? Ooh, not coming back. Got to put that thing back by yourself. That's no good. All right, no matter what position you turn this thing. Oh, it's even tighter that way. No good. This way. Oh, still tight. So now, once you see that going on, you know there's either adjustment problem right here, adjustment problem right here. If there's an adjustment problem right here, you know your cables are wearing. Even right here, it's wearing really bad. If this one is banged out all the way out here, you could come down here and do some adjustment. But, you know, once I see it right here happening, I'll just tell whoever to just replace the cable. Simple, just replace the cable. It's worn. Don't bother coming down here adjusting anything. You can if you're in a pinch, but just replace the cable. Simple, right? So, I'm going to put this back. I'll show you the way where you can adjust it from here only. Right? So now, check this out. We got nice throttle right here. In this position, you got nice throttle. You gotta move it around, move that handlebar around and make sure in every position this handlebar in, you'll have a nice flight. You'll come back nice and tight, nice and good, right? Same thing right here. So check this out, just for demonstration purposes. See, slow return, watch that. With the handlebar all the way to the left, slow return. So we're gonna go all the way to the right now. See, it's a little bit faster. So now, I'm just showing you that it's important to make sure the throttle comes back in all positions. That's really important, right? And most common hang-up points where I've seen throughout my whole profession is either hair's too tight or the bike will have an accident and hair gets destroyed, right? and moisture gets in and that cable is lazy check it out i'm gonna show you what a cable is supposed to be like in good condition so check this out check this out i lift this guy up Ooh, it's supposed to fall right back down this is a new cable it may not fall as fast as this but it should fall back inside without any assistance at all. You understand? Cool. So if that doesn't happen, replace the cable. Even if it's not worn, moisture is inside or it's corroded, it's compromised, replace it. Right? So now, um, so yeah, this seems good. I don't have to mess with this at all. Adjustment and that is good. Another hang up point is right here bike will have an accident this actually this bike was actually an accident this is my main reason for taking it apart it was in a nasty accident a lot of stuff got damaged it was sitting for a while too the fuel pump froze all sort of um stuff happened with this so this is just me taking it apart completely doing a very fine-tuned inspection just to make sure it's good so right here like i said you'll have an accident right here gets damaged and you have the throttle it's rubbing on here it's lazy don't want to come back so most times when you adjust this bar in or you replace the bar in or the clip on you'll have nice throttle again All right another thing is i've seen where people grease inside here yes it does come with grease i've seen some bikes where it comes with grease from the factory i personally don't like it that much just for the mere reason that once dust get inside that greasy holds on to that dust and before you know it it turns into this nasty mixture that's just slows everything down so 
I, I don't really like grease inside here. Once once it's clean, maybe you could put a little bit, just a tiny bit on the cables, just or maybe WD-40. That's that's I think that's the best thing. WD-40 or PB blaster, you know, on the cables and the little internals inside here. I've taken this apart before many times actually, and seen that inside here collects a lot of dust and it slows everything down, especially along this um clip on right here lots of dust inside here and when you do this you just slow everything down nasty you can't you don't have that nice fly back that you're supposed to have you know also sometimes the um the throttle twist it'll get cracked and it's just you know you just gotta go through the whole thing and make sure everything is all set and cable routing that's another reason why they get hung up sometimes i've seen it before where guys they do the fork seal and mess up and didn't route this route this ca these cables back in the proper place which is right here and not some bikes is through here i've seen it over here before passing through here but this specific machine is just xr 750 through here all right and um let's see what else is there yeah um another hang up point is here too oh oh wow perfect example man perfect all right we're gonna have to replace this cable even though it's coming back nice this is gonna be like a preventive maintenance we don't want any issues in the future check that out see that the back and forth movement back and forth movement it, it kind of wear this out and i've seen it before where the cable gets pinched between here so this bike is different but some bikes where the steering stop comes back here, they'll bang in the cable and eat it up and just destroy it. So this, we're gonna have to change it, right? So, um, yeah, um, that's pretty much it. You know, here we got nice throttle. We wanna make sure you have nice throttle as well. So when you release that thing, then play it shut right up and you slow down and just in case that's an emergency or you just wanna, just not be on the throttle you don't have any you know slow deceleration you you, you want it to be quick as possible everything got to be tight just like factory because like i said two wheels man two wheels i know some of you guys ride hard i know some guys who do ride hard make sure your machine is in tip-top shape we don't want any problems you know all right